Hello, welcome to the Devotion for Tuesday, September the 27th, entitled, Greater Love. Now, all of us are looking for love. Some of us are looking for love in all the wrong places, but we are all looking for love. And most of us don't just want love. We want a great love, a life-changing love, a love that permeates everything, that causes us to have life that is rich and abundant. Now, in John 15, 12, Jesus says these words, My command is this. Now, there's a strong word. Command is this. Love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that they would lay down one's life for their friends. Now, to lay down my life for a friend, I've got to consider their need their world, their life, the same way that Ruth looked at Naomi and said, I could do what is just good for me and watch out for what is just in my interest, but I am going to allow my life to be entangled with yours, that your crisis becomes my crisis, that your situation becomes our situation, and together we can have a greater outcome and a greater effect that either one of us could have individually. It's not just about me, it's about us and how do we thrive and how do we move forward. Jesus laid down his life for us and that act opens up unbelievable areas of life for us that we could have never known otherwise. He said that we need to love each other that same way. That as we team together, as we do what Ruth did, pouring her life into Naomi, going we will tackle this problem together. We will walk through this as a team. And as she focused herself to go, I want to live for something bigger than just my own self-interest, God's blessing began to pour into her life, and life change happened. Let's pray. Father, Lord, this principle is a little hard for our self-centeredness to take, that we are to love others as you have loved us, that there is no greater love than we would lay down our lives for someone beyond ourselves. And yet, Lord, you've said that when we do that, we find a life that is rich and full. Lord, to live beyond ourselves is to find life that is transforming. And so, Father, as we consider the incredible life and blessing that Ruth had, that it required work, it wasn't easy, that she had to truly give up a part of her life, take on other things in Naomi's life, responsibilities and cares to provide and to feed. And yet, Lord, as she did that with all of her heart and with all of her passion, you found the ability to cause her to find favor in the eyes of those that saw that self-sacrificing love. And the result was incredible blessing for everyone. God, open our eyes to the power of following out your commands. In Jesus' name, amen. This is a command. Love others the way that you have been loved by God. It's powerful. And I'll see you tomorrow.